Hey, yeah, all back at Freeman's Pharmacy today. Uh, out in the pocket, we just crossed over the river from up there. So as we pan around up the hill, you can see the three bunya trees up there. We'll take the wheelbarrow up. I've got some gloves because they are quite spiky. If you see, we got these three trees, three bunya trees that I planted from seed 20 years ago. Planted them in pots and then planted them out here it was around 20 years ago. And if you look down on the ground here, I'm starting to get the fruits. Massive nuts. And looking around, there's got to be at least 10. They fall from the tops of the trees. Quite high up up there. You wait till the fruit drop and crack open those nuts. As you can see, they're quite nice shaped pine trees. See them up behind me. These ones are about 20 years old. They were planted from seed. They are extremely spiky. It is a good idea to wear shoes and gloves. Looking around the ground, there's still quite a few fruit lying on the ground here. See, we've got half a wheelbarrow full already. But it's a lot easier with gloves because they're big spiky balls. Each one of these should contain 50 to 100 nuts. So I had a pretty good scour around. Pretty sure this is the last little one here. There's quite a lot. This one's quite little, you can see the size of it. As you can see down there, there's a good wheelbarrow full. A few more to throw back on there. And then lump them home. Got to be happy with that haul. Look at all of them, take them home, add them to the rest of them, show you how to cook them up. So we want to keep these dry, let them dry for a few days, they'll start to split open. We'll be able to get the bunya nuts out. Not a bad collection over the last week, most of them come off the property here, a couple on the local streets of Mullumbimby. So after keeping the bunya nuts, High and dry for about a week, uh, they're ready to harvest. These ones I've started getting into, um, they start to split open when they're ready to harvest. You want to get these big nuts, this one has the nice big nuts in, you want to get them out, keep them dry, you want to cook them up. See so these ones, so this, it splits by itself just by rolling it or dropping it on the table. You can see there's about probably at least 50 nuts inside of each one of these cones. The size of the nut depends on the maturity of the tree. But all the cones have at least one or two of these nice size big nuts in them. Now comes the best part. After collecting the nuts and peeling them, it's time to cook them and eat them. We've got a pot of water here, just bringing it to the boil. Just enough water in there so that um, the nuts can float around in. Once it's boiled, throw the nuts in. All right, nuts have been boiling for about 20-25 minutes now. You can see them in there, boiling away. They've got a nice nutty aroma. 
coming from the pan. I reckon they're just about ready. We'll turn this off. Get that out of the way. Pull a couple of nuts out of there. Once the nuts are out, you can see this one is one of the ones I sliced, so it's got a little split in it. We'll chop that down the slice. Grab the nut out. As you can see, there's half a nut there. Take them straight out of there. That's pretty easy to peel. We'll try one that didn't have a split in it. It's just as easy to peel. Once they're softened by cooking, you can get them out. Spit them straight through. Slice them in half. Pull the nut out. Bunion nuts, native Australian nut, delicious and nutritious, one of the best tasting nuts I've ever tasted.